underway at six o'clock. And uh, so that meant I had one hour of ebb. That being uh, west flowing uh, tide, just to get me out away from the shore. And now we've got about, ooh, another four and a half hours of foul tide before it comes good again. But uh, with winds from the northeast, it's, uh, it promises to be okay. See, I think we're through the worst of it. I put the washboards in this time as well. Since leaving Star Stark Point, um, the wind's been surprisingly regular considering it's coming straight off the land with the hills and valleys. Um, anyway, so I set up the, the self-steering, which is great to have. Um, when you're doing a whole day out here, it's nice to be able to get off the helm and uh, do other things. Anyway, uh, Sometimes I seem to set it up and it's fine. It doesn't need touching at all. Other times it's just nearly fine. That's to say, instead of following a definite course, we tend to go off course one way very slightly, then it will correct itself and come back 
and go off course slightly the other way then correct itself again but that's basically the the nature of this type of self steering the ideal is that you uh, obviously minimize the amount of time you spend off course particularly if you're trying to get from A to B um, sometimes when it's just about okay but not quite I find rather than fiddling around with the the inner tube and the rope I just shift my position in the boat from one side to the other so if I fit if I move myself to starboard then the the boat will tend to port and vice versa and that's what I'm doing here we were heading on a course which would take us clear of this headland um, and then we started going off to starboard and obviously I don't want to run aground on this but I'm just seeing if I can move the boot move the boat to port just by using my weight we are slowly coming around to port maybe not enough I might have to take the helm myself because I'm sure we'll lose the wind under this land here still coming to port slightly which is what we want yeah maybe the police boat was uh, off to Salcombe to investigate or maybe even nick some very rich person who'd made their fortune by uh, dishonest means um, Salcombe seems to be all about uh, people with huge amounts of money um, you can't it, it's difficult to get to the the jetty or the pontoons for the number of spanking new tenders each with their spanking new outboards attached I think the last time I was there in this boat um, I was unable to find a chip shop which I uh, didn't endear the place to me at all um, and we left early the next morning no chip shop
on our left we have the Lord's Leap, a small stone built building on the side of the valley. Lord leapt into the river to save his life. To save his life or his wife? His wife, who was chasing him. Ah, okay, well I'll be boogered. I think I was thinking too much about my pipe. That's one good thing about canal boating. It gives you a really peaceful sort of frame of mind when it comes to boats. For sure, yeah. The speed that you're going on. You could say the difference between horse riding and camel riding. <laughs> <laughs> Today is a day um, to avoid being on the water. Uh, it's particularly horrible out there today. Um, but I can't complain because for two weeks we've had uh, fair winds, a lot of sunshine, and it's been dry, which is uh, pretty unusual, I think, in Britain. Halfway through the, the month of October. <clears throat> so I'm in Dartmouth, I arrived here at about one o'clock this morning after a passage from Saltash um, and I'm really glad to be tucked up here now because for the next two days the winds are forecast to increase talking about around 40 knots um, later in the week so I'm not going to be going anywhere uh, so uh, yeah it was a, a lovely passage yesterday once the wind settled down into something regular uh, I was skimming across the skimming across the sea underneath a n nearly a full moon. I think full moon was two or three days ago, and um, bore away off start point. Kept about a couple of miles off to avoid the worst of the overfalls, but we still uh, managed to get involved somewhat. <coughs> in some of the tumult which uh, occurs off start point. Um, but uh, no, nah, there was nothing really to speak of, but certainly uh, we did a little surfing, a little mild surfing. And then it was a, a broad reach all the way up to the entrance to Dartmouth. And I must have been doing 4.5, five knots, more than that sometimes, through the water. 
but only making good about half that because I'd uh, reached the end of the tide and um, yeah, I was bucking quite a strong tide. Uh, so I just huddled down in the cockpit and um, steered on the edge of broad reach just using the uh, the Genoa as a, as a telltale when it started to collapse. I steered slightly more towards the wind to avoid a, an accidental jibe and just kept it on that for four hours actually until I uh, reached Dartmouth Castle. Very, it was actually very enjoyable. Um, so there we go.